Hello, Paul Hamilton here. Let me show you right off the bat what we're going to create today. We're going to create this amazing interactive book. Our students can create these. Uh, mine's a bit of a horror type narrative. Uh, I've used a couple of apps. I'll show you how to use it, but let's have a look at it. It's very interactive. We've got some text. We've got some embedded muted video because I didn't want to take away from the text. And we've got some hyperlinks um, for some collaborative work with our students. Really, really cool. Um, let me read this part. As the Hamilton family slept, a stranger was lurking. He was careful, meticulous. He had been planning this for the past two years. What will happen next? And you can see there, I've got some embedded video. So if I press that, you can see there, it's got me, it's got a filter applied, very comic-y, um, takes the focus off the reality of it. Um, I haven't used any sound because I really wanted to create a setting the scene visual video as part of my narrative, um, but I didn't want to take away from the text. Uh, let me show you what this little hyperlink, this is pretty cool down the bottom. So when you press on the hyperlink, go straight to a Google Shared Doc. I'm going to show you how to do this, by the way. We click on Edit, and I've got a couple of guiding questions there in regard to uh, being able to uh, collaborate in a, in a collaborative working space. I can do some text here. I can have students posing questions, answering questions, going backwards and forth and so forth. So really, really cool aspect that we can build into it. So let me show you how I actually did this because I think this is a really good idea for narratives and digital storytelling in school. I'll just flip my iPad over and just do some resizing if you could bear with me here. And what I'll actually do is I'll show you from start to finish what we've actually done and how to create this. It's pretty easy to do, guys. So I've actually used uh, three apps here. I've used Toon Camera for the uh, visuals and the video and that kind of comic book approach. I've used Google Docs um, for iPad and I've used Book Creator. So let's go through the Book Creator part first and I'll show you what that looks like in Book Creator. So if you haven't used it before, incredibly easy to use. I basically put in some plain text, uh, black background on my next page. Uh, let me just delete that because I'll show you how to bring that in in a minute. Um, I've got simple text, simple text here. I've got a hyperlink down the bottom and I've got an embedded video here that I'll show you how to do. Now this text is really, really easy to do. If I double tap, you can see there that in my kind of text editor, I can select some text and you can see at the top it says link. That's where I can actually put in a link to my Google Shared Doc that I'll show you how to create in a minute um, to get our kids a little bit more collaborative in, in the work that they do. So I'll just press done there. Uh, what else do I need to show you? The rest is pretty basic in regard to including text. Um, the video is very easy to do. All I need to do is plus, go to my photo, my camera roll, and it's you can see there, it's the last one there. Um, you can see there that it's actually playing. You can see my character there. You can see the great effect that I've used. Press use, it brings it straight in, and I can bring it into my, um, into my book to give it a little bit more visual. Let me show you the Google Doc part just to show you how easy that is to create. So I'm gonna go into Google Docs for iPad. I'm gonna press plus down the bottom. Um, I'm gonna give this a name. I'll just call it new one and press create. As you can see, they're really easy. So what will happen next? Put in some um, guiding questions or sorry, allow your students to put in some guiding questions as well so they can collaborate. Press on the ticky box. You can see I'm ready to go. Now at the top right hand corner, you can see the little person with the plus. And what I'm going to do there, it says link sharing is off. I'm actually gonna press that and I'm gonna press on people with the link can edit. Um, that's really, really important to do. Uh, press off there. Press the little person with the, um, with the plus as well. And then all I have to do is copy link to clipboard. So you can see there it's been copied. That's all I really need to do um, to create a shared link on Google Docs. And then if I go back to, uh, if I go back to Book Creator, all I need to do is get into my text, highlight um, the word or phrase or sentence that I need to link, press link, you can see there it comes up there. I just paste it in, press on title if I need to, press done, and you can see that turns blue showing that that hyperlink is now active. Um, really, really simple to do and really, really effective in regard to making your ebook uh, a little bit more interactive uh, for the people that are reading it. And the final thing I want to show you is how do we create this awesome little video here? It's got a fantastic little effect, like a noir, uh, Sin City type um, effect to it, really a comic book style. How do we actually produce that? Well, I've used an app that I just came across called Toon Camera. And you can see there, Toon Camera, I open it, 
It opens up the camera straight away. It's got the little camera icon on the right there. I press that, it starts recording, and then I can save it straight to my camera roll. So it's really, really easy to use. And then I can embed that into my actual book creator. Now, once again, there's a reason why we're actually doing this. And I think that's important. It's not just because I want to app smash and use a whole lot of apps in my activity. The purpose of this is to, to go beyond the text. Um, I really wanted to include that video there um, because I wanted students to visualize what the text is actually trying to portray in the scene setting, in the orientation. I haven't done it just for the sake of it. I've done it so it helps the actual writer visualize and build on the text that they're actually using. So after watching that video and scripting it, our students might actually jump into the text and actually in include a few more adjectives or describing words because they've actually visualized it and they've played it out. Um, the, they've actually put a picture to the, to the narrative that they're actually creating. So look, that's a really, really quick tutorial, but gee, it's effective. I've used three apps there. It's all about narratives, digital storytelling. I'm not starting with the app, I'm starting with the idea. And then I found the three apps, the tools, the powerful tools that I could use to best tell the story. Uh, the Google Docs element of it and the hyperlink there, I think is a really good way of interacting and getting kids to think about the text and including some guiding questions in your narrative creation. So that's Paul Hamilton here signing off. You know where you can find me on Twitter, um, on YouTube. Uh, all the details are there if you need to find me. I hope you got something out of this tutorial. Please share with me uh, any of the great work your students are doing in your class. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.